Many thanks to Nerve Jerb, Skillspeeder Gaming, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, and Taggy Tagwest for making this video possible. I'm probably not the only person in Daisy that has noticed the inconsistency of the Magnum's damage, and after doing a little testing, that inconsistency is very frequent and can reduce your damage by as much as 40% per shot, turning this glorious badass six shooter into a two shot kill weapon instead of a one shot kill weapon like the Deagle and the Repeater, essentially doubling the time it takes to kill a full health target when shooting in the chest. So in this video, I'm I'm going to show you how this bug happens so you can best avoid it and use a magic trick I found to make sure it doesn't happen to you. During my research into damage drop off, I did some side tests and found a bug that happens very frequently with a magnum. Now at first I believed the magnum simply did less damage than the deagle and the repeater which uses the same 357 rounds, however the magnum would sometimes inflict the same damage as the deagle and the repeater one shot killing a player when shot in the chest, leading me to believe that the magnum was intended to do 105.9 damage per shot like all 357 weapons, which makes sense. Upon further testing, a pattern started to emerge where 5 out of the 6 shots would do less damage, so only 1 shot out of these 6 shots did the same damage as the Deagle and the Repeater, and this happens consistently. Every time you reload, 5 out of the 6 shots did reduced damage. Now this damage reduction wasn't much, a difference of just 16 damage at point blank range, which is a damage reduction of roughly 15% at 0 meters. but where the Magnum gets hit the hardest with this bug is how its damage gets reduced over distance. To show you what I mean, on this chart is the damage of a weapon and how many meters it is traveled. So when the repeater gets fired, it won't start losing damage until it gets to 165 meters as shown here, at which point it loses damage rapidly due to its high air friction stat. So this chart tells us that the repeater has 105.9 damage until it reaches 165 meters. Adding the deagle to this chart is roughly the same, dropping off slightly sooner at 135 meters due to its lower initial speed stat. Now when the Magnum isn't bugged and does normal damage, it follows the exact same damage drop off line as the Deagle, inflicting 105.9 damage until 135 meters, then dropping off rapidly like the Deagle and the Repeater. However, when it is bugged, instead of doing 105.9 damage up until 135 meters, it starts life at just 89.8 damage at 0 meters and starts to drop off immediately after being fired. Now while the Magnum doesn't drop off as quickly as a Repeater or the Deagle and at extreme distances it doesn't really make a difference when it comes to damage, the important range we need to look at here is the effective range of the Magnum itself which is up to 130 meters. So at point blank range the Magnum does 15% less damage when bugged but at roughly 130 meters or its maximum effective range due to dispersion it has 40% less damage at 62 damage per shot and remember that 5 out of the 6 rounds that you fire will do this. There's no way to change how many rounds per reload will do this, there will always be only one round in your magnum that will do maximum or normal damage. So if you pick up a magnum now, or if you have a magnum on your character, 5 out of the 6 shots inside are bugged and will do up to 40% less damage, making it far inferior when compared to the deagle and potentially ruining this badass weapon for some players out there. For that I'm sorry, but I do believe that this bug needs attention and you guys should be aware of how much this weapon gets destroyed by this bug. Also the argument of if a 357 round can one shot a player in the chest can be put to rest because it does one shot a player in the chest, just not 5 out of 6 times. Now while we can't stop 5 out of the 6 rounds doing less damage, it is possible to know exactly which of the 6 rounds in your magnum will do maximum damage and as a result will one shot kill a player. When you pick up a magnum that's been spawned into the game, the first cylinder is the cylinder that would do maximum damage, but the confusing part is this cylinder moves position while you fill and rotate the barrel. So if you put 6 rounds into a fresh magnum it will go all the way around to its starting position meaning the first shot that you fire from a fresh magnum will do normal damage. However, if you load it with 5 rounds or less it will always be the last round that does maximum damage as shown here. So the easy way to remember which round would do maximum damage is to only reload your magnum when all of the rounds have been fired. That way when you reload, the first round fired will always be the one that does maximum damage. However, for the pro players out there, instead of remembering which round has normal damage, remember which cylinder has normal damage. And that cylinder is the very first cylinder on a spawned magnum, cylinder number one. 
So if you find a fresh magnum and fully reload it, the first cylinder is also going to be the first round fired doing normal damage, but if you reload it, say after firing four rounds, cylinder one stays in the same position while the rounds and the casings are removed, meaning cylinder one will now be in a different position once the magnum has become fully reloaded again, making the third shot normal damage and one shot killing a player in the chest. Unfortunately, Daisy is very good at saving the rotation of the barrel and it cannot be reset by logging out, dropping it, repairing it, or even throwing an open can of beans at it. Nothing I tried reset the magnum, so the only way to reset its position is to fire or dry fire the magnum. The magic method I use is to go around shooting infected in the chest, one shot to the chest. If it doesn't kill them, that is a bugged cylinder, so slap them to finish them off. But if it does kill them in one shot, that is the one cylinder that does normal damage. Once you've found it, tap reload multiple times to completely empty all of the cylinders, then dry fire five times while saying abracadabra to reset the first cylinder to the first round, meaning the first shot that you fire after a full reload will be the normal damage shot every time. This works best if you say abracadabra over your mic in game, or even better, on a town's PA system. Trust me, I'm Wobo. Hopefully this bug does get fixed quickly, but for now I've updated the damage drop off chart on the Weibo website and even adjusted the damage numbers until this gets fixed. Thank you for watching and abracadabra. <laughs>